by hand. You know, it's too cold right now. But uh, I figured, hey, what well, better time to um, do a little update review of the Equinox. Well, so far I, I love them a lot. You know, the car feels so much better. Throttle response is so incredible now, especially with this boost. It just, the whole, it feels like a whole different car. As far as the vibrations goes, it's not as bad as people make it seem. Like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I have it on the dash right now. But it's not as bad as people make it seem. I mean, these are, I believe these are rated um, 60A, I think, or 65A. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll post up which one on the video. But it's not much different than stock, really, when you're when idling. Obviously you do feel it, but it's not like crazy. Where you feel it more, I don't know if it's because I have this quick release setup, but I feel it more in the steering wheel than anything. But it's not crazy now on the highway, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's like I said, it's not too much different than the stock one when you're driving normal, but when you're smashing, it's a whole different horse, you know. It's, the car just feels more aggressive, a lot better. More, way more responsive but other than that I do have 5,000 grit sandpaper I'm gonna attempt to begin buffing my car because this paint hasn't been cut buffed so I might do a little video on how to do that we'll see how it goes but if not we'll stay tuned for the next one